Looks like we have a new large language model that is claiming to be outperforming GPT-4. Introducing Anthropic's new Claude 3 LLM. Claude 3 is the next generation of AI models coming out with three separate models. Firstly, we have the Claude 3 Opus model, the Sonnet model, as well as the Haiku model. All of these models have been able to record new industry benchmarks across reasoning, mathematics, coding, multilingual understanding, and now we even have vision. Each model offers increasingly powerful performance, allowing you to select the optimal balance of intelligence, speed, and cost for this specific application. Just take a look at this example, which is going to showcase the Haiku model, where it's able to turn thousands of physical documents into structured data. Claude Haiku is one of the fastest and most affordable vision-capable models in the world. To demonstrate this, we're going to read through thousands of scanned documents in a matter of minutes. The Library of Congress Federal Writers Project is a collection of thousands of scanned transcripts from interviews during the Great Depression. This is a goldmine of incredible narratives and real-life heroes, but it's locked away in hard-to-access scans of transcripts. Imagine you're a documentary filmmaker or journalist. How can you dig through these thousands of messy documents to find the best source material for your research without reading them all yourself? Since these documents are scanned images, we can't feed them into a text-only LLM, and these scans are messy enough that they would be a challenge for most dedicated OCR software. But luckily, Haiku is natively vision-capable and can use surrounding text to tra transcribe these images and really understand what's going on. We can also go beyond simple transcription for each interview and ask Haiku to generate structured JSON output with metadata like title, date, keywords, but also use some creativity and judgment to assess how compelling a documentary the story and characters would be. We can process each document in parallel for performance, and with Claude's high availability API, do that at massive scale for hundreds or thousands of documents. Let's take a look at some of that structured output. Haiku is able to not just transcribe, but pull out creative things like keywords. We've transformed this collection of many, many scans uh, into rich keyword structured data. Imagine what any organization with a knowledge base of scanned documents, like a traditional publisher, healthcare provider, or law firm can do. Haiku can parse their extensive archives and bodies of work. We'd love for you to try it out and see what you build. What an amazing year for the private Discord. For simply being a Patreon, we offered nine paid subscriptions completely for free since the start of this year, which only has been two months. These plans add up to $700 and more if you are to individually purchase them. We've had insane partnerships with big AI companies, giving out subscriptions to AI tools and frameworks completely for free, like DeFi, NVIDIA, and many others. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency with AI. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you also gain the ability to get daily AI resources, AI news, consulting, networking opportunities, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. If you're interested in elevating your AI game, highly recommend that you take a look at the Patreon link in the description below and join today. This is something that you should definitely not miss out, so definitely take a look at this. Now, isn't that great? Well, that's not the only thing that you can do with Claude's new set of models, as you can now have increased capabilities in analysis and forecasting, you have better content creation and code generation, and so much more. Currently, Opus and Sonnet are accessible through their API, which they have now generally have it available through their website for developers as well as users so that you can get started with it immediately. The Sonnet model is actually powering the free experience on their website at the moment, which is something that we're going to take a look at. But with the Opus model, it's only available for Claude Pro subscribers. Now, this is something that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video, taking a look at some benchmarks, taking a look at the capabilities of these new set of models. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services where i can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with ai definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below 
Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Anthropic's new release of Claude 3, which is a groundbreaking family of AI models, which is revolutionizing the landscape of cognitive computing. Now, this is comprising of three distinct variants. You have the Haiku model, Sonnet model, as well as the Opus model. Now, Claude 3 offers a new performance of capabilities across a spectrum of tasks. They are focusing on these models models where the Heiko model is focusing on different sorts of capabilities whereas these other two models that they released focus on other sorts of comprehension as well as fluencies. Now with the Sonnet and Haiku model both of these models demonstrate remarkable capabilities across different sorts of like categories whether that's uh, mathematics or whether that's coding content creation or even forecasting whereas the Haiku model also does all of these things but at a little lower spectrum and in most cases all three of these models are able to tailor to your own choice based off of specific requirements whether that's balancing the intelligence the speed as well as the cost now this is something that we're going to take a look at as you take a look at some of the benchmarks and this is where we're going to be able to showcase the comparison of these three models in regards regards to the other models that are out there. Let's take a look at some of the benchmarks and comparison tests of the Cloud 3 models as well as GPT-4, GPT-3.5, Gemini 1.0 Ultra, and Gemini 1.0 Pro. Now, this is a test which is focusing on various benchmarks on different categories. You have MMLU, which is focusing on under undergraduate level knowledge. You have math problem solving. You also have code as well as common knowledge. And it focuses on most of these different benchmarks. And we can clearly see that it's able to outperform GPT-4 as well as Gemini's models. And this is just great to see. Now, in terms of the other lower models of Claude 3, it's able to do quite well and it keeps up with GPT-3.5 as well as outperforming it in most cases, which is really, really unique to see. And when it comes to comparing it to GPT-4, most of these models are able to put up a close match or even outperform it in certain categories, which is really also nice to see. Now, these three cloud models offer near instantaneous results, which is powering live customer chats, you have auto completion, you have real-time data extraction tasks, as well as many other things. Now, among the models, you're able to see that the Haiku one is able to stand out as the fastest and most effective in intelligence categories. It's able to be capable of reading dense research papers within a couple of seconds, which is really great to see. And this is the example that we saw at the start of the video, where it's able to take unstructured data from large contexts and it's able to process it. Now, their second model, which is Sonnet, and this is something that is twice as fast as Claude 2 and Claude 2.1 while maintaining higher intelligence levels. And it makes it ideal for tasks that require rapid responses, such as knowledge retrieval or sales automation. So you can clearly see that each model has their distinct quality and you're going to be able to use it for various sorts of things and this is something that I truly recommend you should take a look at by reading their blog post so you get a better understanding as to what each model is doing. Now if we are to take a look at Claude3's Opus model, it delivers similar speeds as it, its previous models but it offers significant higher levels of intelligence and you can see that with their different benchmarks. It's able to have a great score with undergraduate level knowledge, it does quite well with math problem solving as well as graduate level reasoning and we can see that it's becoming smarter with its intelligence and it's improving with its expected post-launch and this is something that's quite great to see in comparison to these other models. Now something unique to see is that Claude 3 is able to have vision capabilities and this is where they're able to boost up vision capabilities comparable to other top models in the field where it's able to do quite well against Gemini Pro as well as Gemini Ultra. And it even outperforms GPT-4 vision, which is just nice to see. And this is just an advancement that's particularly significant for their enterprise customers, where many of whom have substantial portions of their knowledge bases encoded into formats like PDFs, flowcharts, or even presentations. Now, with this ability, it's going to help them process such diverse visual data. And we can see that the Cloud3 models are becoming a little bit better in almost every category. And it's slowly but surely being compared comparable to now GPT-4 as well as Gemini.
Now, there's a lot more detail on their blog post, which I will leave a link to in the description below. But lastly, I want to take a look at the model details. The Cloud 3 Opus model has a cost of $15 for inputs, and this is for uh, per million tokens, and the output is around $75. As a 200k context window, and I believe all of these models have that same context window. And the prices obviously differ based off the model. Haiku is their cheapest and the least capable model in comparison to these other two models that they released. And the middle one is Sonnet. So this is something that you should definitely read through because there's a lot of information which will detail what you can do with each of these models. But that's basically it for today's video on Claude's new generation of models this is really great to see and i truly respect them for releasing something like this and i believe you can try it out right now so if you are to click on this you're going to be able to try and play around with claude's uh, basic model where you're able to try it after you signed it up you can also get the api access so you can export it to any sort of workflow in this case you're gonna have to register so if you're interested in this definitely take a look at this with the link in the description below but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching Make sure you follow the Patreon if you haven't already. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news, as well as collaborations, as well as accessing subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow us on Twitter if you haven't already. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.